guys, welcome to my bookshelf. I am super excited to show you guys 23 books from this bookshelf that I want to read in 2023. So I tried to pick, actually I did pick and didn't try. I only picked books that I already own. So some of these are old, some of these are newer, but I'm super excited. None of these are really in an order. I just kind of picked and pulled and I'll talk about why I want to read these or I'll just, I don't know. Some of them, I have a reason. Some of them, I just saw the name and I was like, yeah, that's the book I want to read. So let's get cozy and figure out what books we're going to do. So I pulled them all out already. So you guys didn't have to bear with me in this death trap of a bookshelf. <laughs> now I have more room to put books on if I completely read these books. But I'm super excited because I'm going to try and read all of these and I didn't follow a single TBR I made last year or the year before so I want to actually accomplish that this year so that is the goal here so the first book on this stack is all the long way down which I want to preface this by a trigger warning for this book so a long way down I found while I was in high school I didn't pick the book up and then my last year of school so about two years ago ish yeah when me and my husband about two years ago we're at a bookstore and I found this book and a hard copy book of it version of it and I had to pick it up because I've been thinking about this book since I first found it at a thrift store and it was sold the next time I went but I had to pick it up so it is New Year's it's set at the beginning of the new year so I kind of want to read this first thing next year but it's the very beginning of the year it's actually it's New Year's Eve I believe it's the countdown to the new year yeah one New Year's Eve so it's the countdown to the new year. Four people go to the top of this building all separately for a trigger warning. Um, and they all try to talk each other down from hurting themselves. And so I feel like this would be a really good read, a really depth read. And I think it's a read that I need to read now. Um, it's just something that I think right now is the right time to read this book, which is why I picked it because I've always wanted to read it and I feel like current right now is the best time for that. So the next book on this list is You've Reached Sam. This book, um, if you don't know, he died. She's the girlfriend grieving. And then one day she gets a text from him, I believe, or she texts him and he texts back. And they know that they don't have a long time together so they spin all the time that's on the back of the book that's the whole premise of this book and i've wanted to read this book i don't know when i got this book but i almost bought it two other times i came back here and i saw it was on my shelf so i feel like i need to read this so i will quit forgetting that i own this book <laughs> because for some reason every time i see this I'm like oh i need to buy that book i need to read it i own this book i just need to read it i don't need to buy it and i need to read it so i'll quit trying to buy it <laughs> The next book I got from the dollar store, it is called Blaze or Love in the Time of Supervillains. So I'll just read the back for you guys. So Blaze is tired of spending her life on the sidelines. All she wants is for Mark the soccer stud to notice her, not as Josh's weird sister who drives a turd brown minivan and not as the nerdy girl who draws comics. And I don't know, I just feel like it would be a nice read, something to like cut up all of these other reads something that's going to be easier to read the next book i got that i want to read is nick i like the great gatsby that's the only reason i picked nick this book just came out this year 2022 because copyright came up in 2022 this one i picked solely for the title which is the cleveland heights lgbtq science sci-fi and fantasy role-playing club do I know what this is about? No. Did I buy this book based off of the cover? Yes. Am I going to read this based off of the cover? Also, yes. The next book is Burn. I got this book because I heard a lot of people raving about it. Um, I got this, I believe, in the beginning of the year. I don't know when I bought this book, to be honest. I have no clue when I bought this book, but I got it because everyone was talking about it. Nobody's talking about it now, but I feel like I should still read it because that's why I bought it. Next book is... The Menace of Earth. I got this solely, put this on this list, okay? Solely because one, the cover I think is beautiful. And two, I love science fiction and I just feel like there should be more sci-fi in this. So 
Basically, the moon, cities, plunge underground, and Earth is a sinister planet dying in the sky. Extraterrestrial intelligence prowls the heavens and kidnaps man creatures for its unearthly amusement. This is the day past tomorrow. Time has ended and man has begun his endless journey towards the menacing stars. And I just feel like this is going to be a really good read. And that's why I just feel like this is going to be a really good read. And because of the description and the cover, I picked this book. The next is because I want to read more science fiction. The star is now unclaimed. So this is a pretty thick boy and it's pretty tall compared to the other books. So I don't know if I'm going to get to this book, but I want to get to this book. I picked it because of the cover, I'll be honest. This one I got from the Dollar Shore called Black Star Renegades. Um, I got it, picked it because of the cover and because of science fiction. And who doesn't love in the tradition of Star Wars, a galaxy hopping space adventure about a galactic kingdom bit on control and the young misfits who must find the power within before it's too late. This one is a book of the month book, which I picked Upgrade. I got this book. I intended to read it the day I got it and I never got around to it. Everyone says this is an amazing read. So I really want to read it. I loved the other book I have by him. So hoping that I love this as much as I loved the other book. Next is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which is also a book of the month book. And it's the book of the year. I got this book because everyone was talking about it and it won the award. So I thought I should read it. That's why it's on this list. Next book is a book of the month book as well and it is Killers of a Certain Age and I love the idea of retired serial, what is it? Retired? Yeah, the Deadliest Assassins. I love the idea of Deadly Assassins but in a retirement home. I just think it's funny and it's gonna be a cute little read. It may not be a cute little read but that's my plan. It's kill or be killed and they've been at this a long time. I love that slogan. I want to read this so bad. <laughs> Next is this. I love Teen Titans. I love Beast Boy and Raven, which is why I picked this one, which is the second book. Ah, is the second book in the series. It's just Teen Titans Beast Boy, and the second one is Teen Titans Beast Boy Raven. Next, I have Cemetery Boys. I bought this on pre order. I even have the pre order stuff in the book. I never read it. I want to read it. I love the idea of magic. I love trans representation. I love queer representation. As a trans boy, I want to read about a trans boy. That's why it's on here. And I do want to apologize right now to <laughs> Aiden Thomas because his two other books are also on this list. So, but they're not next up because they're not in order. I just pulled them off the shelf. Um, so this one is Bad Girls with Perfect Faces by Lynn. I don't know how to say her last name, but she wrote a book called Suicide Notes by Beautiful Girls. And that is one of my favorite books. That book got me back into reading. So I thought, why not read a different book by one of my favorite authors? Next, we have Hunt the Flame, which I bought because everyone was talking about how great it was. And I love fantasy. So I thought, why not? People live because she killed. People died because he lived. And I love that idea. I don't really know much about this, but I'm pretty sure there is a second book in this series I'm pretty sure it's a series, but the cover of this is amazing. And I've heard great things about this book. So I'm going to read this book. I started this book. I did not finish it. I DNF'd it and I want to read back. I DNF'd it because life is getting too hectic. So I got a pretty chunky way through of The Ninth House and I want to reread The Ninth House. This is a banged up old copy. We're going to ignore that. I want to read this because the newest book is being released. I can't remember what the second one is called, but because the second book is coming out, I wanna read this book. Is another Aiden Thomas book, which is Lost in the Neverwoods. I love fairy tale retellings, myth retellings, folklore retellings. I love retellings. So I feel like I am gonna love this book, which is a Peter Pan Wendy retelling. As a chunky boy, so heavy, oh my gosh, which is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. I've had this book on my shelf since the year it came out. Okay, like two months after it came out, I put this on my shelf to read. And this is daunting. It's so daunting. It's so heavy. It's so thick. Next is another book because everyone's been talking about it or did talk about it for a while about a year or two ago, which is Red Rising. I see it on TikTok a lot more now. I don't go through book talk often, but when I do, I'm trying to find sci-fi and sci-fi equals fantasy. So this pops up a lot. Um, it is a series though. I'm not a big series fan. We'll see how it goes. There's three in the series. It's a trilogy and it's completed. So I don't 
think I'll hate it, but I want to finally read this because I'm so far behind on booktube books. It's insane. Next is the third and final <coughs> Aiden Thomas book. And it is the Sun Bearer Trials. This book just came into my possession. I pre-ordered it. It was at my parents' house. And now it is in my possession, which is why I want to read it next year. Because this book just got released and I'm super excited about it. And the last book is another book of the month book, which is The Space Between Worlds. Um, it's science fiction, I believe, which is why I got it. This is actually my birthday pick. I got a, I believe I got it. I don't know. I picked this book because of the cover, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited this one. It says, my mother used to say I was born reaching, which is true. She also used to say it would get me killed, which it hasn't, not yet anyway. And that sounds interesting and I'm super excited. It's also a thinner book and lighter than some of these other books in here. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a fast read, but I'm super excited about this book as well. So as you can see, I am surrounded by books in this room. It's insane, but these are all the 20, these are the 23 books I want to read in 2023 and I'm super excited about it and I hope that I actually complete this TBR so at the end of the year we'll see if I make a video saying hey I read all these books or if I make a video saying I didn't read a single one of those books but I'm super excited. I can't wait. I really want to start reading some of these right now but I'm gonna wait until the new year. I only got like two or three weeks and I got some other books already lined up but I am super excited about these books you have no clue um I just want to clear out these to be read all these nothing on this bookshelf has been read so I just want to clear these out some buy some more bookshelves that can have read and to be read on them but yeah <laughs> I don't really know what else to say um what's 23 books you want to read in the next year What's some books you want to read this year? Maybe I'll add them to my list of TBR, which is way too big as it is, as you can tell. But I want to know what you got to say in the comments. If you've read any of the books, if you've read any of these books, please let me know how what you thought of them. I would love to know. My Goodreads will be in the description as well as my other social medias. If you want to check those out, I do have a bookstagram which I am trying to be more active on in the new year. Go check out my channel if you like. If you don't, that's cool. So yeah, peace out, rock on. He'll have your own. I'm going to grow your wings, fly hat, touch the sky. Make sure everyone knows your name. Love from my screen to yours. Bye, my little butterflies. Cameron, out.